The APA is accusing Norfolk Southern Railroad of not properly cleaning up contaminated soil at the Ohio train derailment in order to get their rail, rail line rather back up and running. It comes about three days after it was discovered that three previously unknown and dangerous chemicals were spilled during that derailment in Ohio. Nick Smith is here to explain exactly what uh, this letter we're hearing about is saying. You know, Adrian, we've been following this from the beginning and it still continues to be a problem. The letter from the EPA is condemnatory. Just 10 days after the train derailment, the federal agency is accusing the railroad of failing to properly dispose of contaminated soil and not just improperly dispose, but cover it up so that the soil was not properly taken care of and get the trains running again. We basically nuked the town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. Now, Sil Caggiano is the Hazmat Battalion Chief in nearby Youngstown, Ohio. He fears that Norfolk Southern's recklessness and greed will put people at risk for years to come. And all this after a number of chemicals seeped into soil and remain in air particles around East Palestine. Now, that concern is being echoed not just by him, but by environmental experts as well. I think it was not in the best interests of human health and welfare and the environment to simply cover it up and keep going without at least doing a preliminary evaluation. In response to the EPA letter, Norfolk Southern says, quote, during the initial response work at the site involving moving equipment, etc., some soil is moved around to best complete that initial phase. We will continue to remediate the site, including the removal of soil to reach or exceed regulatory standards. Now, one of the chemicals in question, Adrian Mitch, is that vinyl chloride. Now, it's said to be highly mobile in soil and could leach into the groundwater and eventually other waterways. Now, environmental experts say it's not a matter of if it's going to be a water issue, but rather how soon and how bad it will be. Back to you. Well, at least we know about it, Nick. Hopefully they get it fixed up pretty soon. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.